come we were tembele kwa kama stranger because that's what I did initially I left then I was coming by to say hi that there are those videos are in my kids channel you'd see me going and saying hi when I'm leaving they start crying all those videos and they'll be in us channel so when this happened we left went to the police station coming back we don't find nobody that's the time the kids disappeared for four months we didn't see them for four months we just being told uh, to okay is being told to my door to my door so you send for about two months or so the blackmails and everything then at some point he was like no i'm not gonna send i have to see the children that's the point now when he started seeing the marana piggy or midnight come which quarter tao and that tao da 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 so all that happens because one person believes that you guys are no longer together and you're not gonna work it and they cannot be able to do what they were doing and this situation also happens to women there are some men who also do the same thing they also hold the children against their baby mamas and this is what i normally prefer don't take your aggression through the children don't allow the children to see the fights and the arguments that you guys are having but most people never have that so you see so it's been a lot of situations and then you hear the baby mama saying since i came to tumbili's life i don't want them together why would i not want them together when i'm dating tumbili I'm, I'm, i want to date her have you seen the women i work with okay <laughs> that i didn't mean to be rude <laughs> I take that back, sorry, my bad. So, this is the thing. She's pissed because I opened Tumbili's eyes. Because when I came to Tumbili's life, he was a different person, he's a different person now. And I told him, bro, I've been here, I've done these mistakes before. In life, in career, in family, in parenting. I'm like, bro, don't do this, don't do that. And when I came and I was like, no, let's stop this aggression and the abuse and the emotional abuse and the physical abuse. She's like, oh, so you're taking away my punching bag. So that is the point. That's the pain where it's coming from. It's like, oh, me could you come fungo macho? Because since I came to Tumbili's life, what I know, I don't know what he knows. All I've wanted was to change it to the better. Because also myself, someone held my hand and changed my life. And when I finished Tumbili, I always tell him, also you do something too. Even the other people that I try and support in I always tell him, don't thank me. Just do it for somebody else that doesn't know or doesn't expect it. So that's the current situation. So try and sign the petition. Let's create awareness. Let us uh, comfort our men, be kind to the men, they are going through a lot and the society expect them to be mwanaume. Mwanaume ali, mwanaume afai kupigwa, mwanaume inafaa provide. And there are no jobs and we are abused with our employers and everything and there is no way you can do. So just try and be kind to the men that you meet from your brothers to your husbands to your boyfriends to your cousins to your parents. Just be kind man, you don't know what that man is going through, trust me. And most of them don't talk. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kumesema, most of the men are kuzi pale social media, maybe kusema, uh, maybe uh, through you, you have the numbers, you have the attention. Are you going to change uh, men's mindsets that are kikiti in this thing? And as a kuja pale kwa social media, ama, and as a sema, as a feel, uh, and as a kwa attack that siya ni mwanaume afai kulia. How are you going to change men's mindset? You've not been following me, have you? <laughs> 